this evening, we could explore Yongjia Xuanjue's Song of Enlightenment and then meditate. This is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to Meditate Like a Jedi, which is brought to you by the kind folks who support this channel on Patreon for about a buck a month. This evening, we could chant and meditate and enjoy a lesson or two. But first, if you love Star Wars, and you wish to meditate as transformatively as young Luke Skywalker on Dagobah, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Good news. If at any point during this evening's live stream you have a question about Buddhist meditation or Buddhist philosophy or how to apply them, simply type your question in great detail in the chat window on the right-hand side of the screen, and I'll be happy to answer the question for you. Mental and physical reactions come and go like clouds in the empty sky. Greed and hatred take to greed, hatred and ignorance appear and disappear like bubbles on the surface of the sea. So it's normal to get uh, greed and hatred and befuddlement can beat us up. There is a mistake that thinks we're supposed to get rid of those impulses. We're not. The key is we would, the liberation we seek is not free, freedom from the presence of the greed, hate, and ignorance. It is freedom from the tyranny, the control of, that greed, hate, and ignorance have over us. So what we're trying to do is make peace with whatever we experience, external and internal. When we realize actuality, there is no distinction between mind and thing, then the path to hell instantly vanishes. So, many people are raised in religions, and in those religions, they're asked to believe certain things very intensely. And then they, when they learn meditation, they try to believe their way to peace. The reason that won't work is that belief is an energy intensive contrivance, a contrivance of intellect and a contrivance of emotion. Um, and when we are sufficiently fatigued or sufficiently overwhelmed and we don't have the extra energy, then that faith will crumble like a house of cards. In Buddhism, we don't rely on faith. We rely on technique, techniques that's predicated on the bottom of our central nervous system. As long as we're alive, as long as we're respirating, we have access to the mechanisms of the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system that are wired for effortless mindfulness and effortless release. So we don't we can, no matter how tired we are, as long as you're breathing, you can meditate, which can really take a load off of our shoulders. So, on the in breath, when we notice, the things that we notice are different. But during the exhalation, when we physically relax and mentally release, then everything is united. Whatever we notice during our in-breath tastes of relaxation and release on the out-breath. So that's what we mean by one taste or non-duality. We're not saying that doggy Doo and Hershey's chocolate are identical. What we're saying is whatever you step into when you breathe in, and however you feel about what you just stepped in, when you breathe in, when you breathe out, it'll feel like letting go. So whether you step in doggy-doo, 
or you step in a pile of $100 bills. Either way, when you relax during the out-breath, during the inevitability of out relaxation, everything feels the same. So the author of this text is saying, listen, I'm not making this up. I'm not trying to con anybody out of anything. The path is easy. It's effective. And you have to understand where this fellow is coming from. You see, the majority of people in the world are raised to be rigid, fearful, controlling, elitist, competitive, and cruel. And they bring that into the spiritual path with them, and then they wonder why they're miserable. This path, those attributes might take you many places, but peace is not one of them. If we want peace, we must trade our rigidity for flexibility, our fear for love, our controlling tendencies for being laid back, our uh, competitiveness for cooperation, and of course our cruelty for kindness. That is the path of peace. And now let's turn our attention to this, the latest uh, iteration of Dujum Jigdral Rinpoche's Green Tata Tantara, adapted and amplified by yours truly. I do not tell you this to boast, but just because I don't want to deceive you or anybody, because that's a drag. Namo Guru Shamatara We're now going to train our neural pathways that are responsible for enthusiasm and empathy. Namu I and all other beings take refuge in the three jewels from now until the attainment of awakening. In order to bring benefit to beings, I shall meditate on Shama Tara. Shama means green. Tara means heroin. So we're working with the archetype of dynamic compassion. Namu I and all other beings take refuge in the three jewels from now until the attainment of awakening. In order to bring benefit to beings, I shall meditate on Shamatara. Namu I and all other I and all other beings take refuge in the three jewels from now until the attainment of awakening. In order to bring benefit to beings, I shall meditate on Shamatara. So the three jewels are just a nickname for Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, which are metaphors, really, for taking refuge or relying upon the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. And now, we're ready for our first of two silent meditations. This awareness and letting goes, mindfulness and meditation is known by many. What, what it can serve as an antidote to clinging, which slices through the fundamental duality of dread and desire. It is known by many names such as, such as Zen, Chan, Dhyana, Atta Yoga, Mahamudra, Dzogchen, and Trikcho. And despite the grandiosity of its names, it's actually remarkably easy. Consider, if you will, this photograph of a Buddhist statue. We, there's no need to torture ourselves with a full lotus pose. 
simply stacking our, our shins is enough. Releasing not from the knees, but from the hips. It's just rest your hands comfortably in your lap with the edge of your, your hands uh, against your tummy, your lower tummy. This helps with the subtle energy. We don't want to hunch the, uh, our shoulders. We don't want to stand at attention like a Marine in boot camp. Uh, we want to find the middle ground between those two extremes. We allow a subtle Mona Lisa smile to play across the corners of our mouth, the apples of our cheeks, and the crow's feet of our eyes. Allow yourself to experience a um, traction between your head and your pelvis. As we breathe in, we can silently and mentally recite this. As we exhale, we can silently and mentally recite the hyphenated verb relaxing. Here's the significance. Every time we breathe in, whether we know it or not, we are accessing our sympathetic nervous system, which is wired not for concentration, but for mindfulness which is vulnerable and passive and visceral and random. We can notice the external or the internal, the physical or the mental, the pleasurable or the painful, the interesting or the boring, the glorious or the grotesque. What do we do with the stuff that we notice? Glad you asked. During every exhalation, whether we know it or not, we are accessing our parasympathetic nervous system which is wired for both physical relaxation and mental release. We're not shoving our experience away. We're simply taking a break from living in resistance. Let's play with this now for about 30 minutes, health permitting. As my aunt Edda used to say, ach, got the willink.
If you've just joined, welcome aboard. Good news. The, the moment you have a specific question about meditation or philosophy or how to apply them to your life, simply type your question in great detail in the chat window, and I'll be happy to answer it for you.
consider, if you will, this drawing of the green heroine. In the Sanskrit, known as Shyamatara, Tibetan as Drol Zheng, and English as Green Heroine. The iconography of this Yadam, or archetype of enlightenment, functions merely to organize eight figures of speech necessary for deeply transformative contemplation, therefore rendering both blind faith and superstition obsolete. Let's contemplate the iconography of the archetype. In the lotus, a red pure realm of Padma Vyuha, Vyuha surrounded by wondrous clouds of offerings. Perfect in the moment of recollection, I am like Rintara. How is that? By the time we're done, we'll have four ways that we are like Rintara. Her right hand is in the gesture of supreme generosity. Her left hand in the refuge-granting gesture symbolizes the... Th Oopsie. Yes. Symbolizes the three jewels as holding a blossoming upala flower. She is adorned with silks and jeweled ornaments. Seed who cross leg and bodhisattva posture on a white lotus and moon disc seats. At her three places are Oma and Hum. At her heart center upon a moon disc is a green tom. So that's a bit befuddling. So that would be Om on the forehead, you know, superficially, Ah at the throat, superficially, and Hum on the sternum, superficially. Behind the sternum, about a thumb's width in front of the spine, would be the green syllable tom. You don't have to visualize it. Visualization is just a form of concentration, and it does more harm than good. Simply by playing with these words, by chanting these words, you're already downloading, dare I say, programs into your brain. That's enough. Trust me, the people I know who've spent 10, 20, 30 years concentrating are cranky and not happy. The people who are just very, very relaxed are uh, spontaneous, carefree, and at ease. That's the way to be. Light shoots forth from these syllables and invites the wisdom being some mother and appearance. Who then dissolve into myself, merging indivisibly from the counterclockwise spinning mantra, mantra, surrounding the syllable tom at my heart. Light rays stream forth and then gather, making offerings to the noble ones, dispelling being sufferings and purifying, clinging to ordinary appearances and its causes. What are the, some of the ways we cling to ordinary appearances? We'll explore that in just a few minutes. Sight, sounds, and thoughts are experienced as fortunate and as no graspable as the display of the green hero when the three secrets comprised only of light. And now, we come to mantra meditation, our third of three, sorry, our second of three meditations this evening. This mantra meditation of love and letting go, which serves as an antidote to hating, whoopsie, is known by many things, such as Tokal's leap over. We're going to begin by reviewing the meaning of a mantra. Om invokes Tade's courage to Tade's pacification and Dure's increase. So as supplicates with these, may I liberate all. Oh. 
As we chant the mandre, good fear as if emerald rays were remitting from a thumbnail such a horizontal tensor, a bull mantra verse or heart. Lavishing all man's communication, bodies, and circumstances. With wisdom, love, health, and good fortune, scented and spontaneous. We're going to bring the four bases of mindfulness into the path of love. Beginning with the experience of the mental. May all minds of all, oh, but, but before we do, I'm going to answer the inferred question. How do we transform mere mantra recitation into mantra meditation? There are two methods. Number one, during the out-breath, while chanting the mantra, physically relax as best you can. Number two, during the in-breath, silently and mentally recite a loving intention. Now, this is arguably kind of cryptic, so we kind of flesh it out in the previous page. Chant with me. May all minds of all beings now be as peaceful and wise as the mind of a Buddha of law symbol as by a considerable CT clay or bija mantra. So, we are wishing that each um, that each mind of each being now possess the wisdom of a Buddha's mind, real or imagined, symbolized by the syllable Tom. Om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so ha Om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so ha Om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so ha Om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so wa om dare do dare do re so ha so what we're doing is we're blending wishing love with mantra recitation, which is much more powerful than just wishing for good things. For, it's much better to wish good things for all beings everywhere than just for ourselves. This is how we are walking in the footsteps of this archetype of enlightenment. We're now going to bring our experience of the interpersonal into the path of love. May all relationships of all beings so be as joyful and loving as a real or imagined Buddhist communication symbolized by this tensible mantra. Um dare do dare do re so wa um dare do dare do re so wa um dare do dare do re so wa um dare do dare do re so ha Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so ha Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so ha Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so wa Om dare do dare do re so ha Now let us bring our experience of the physical into the path of love
May all bodies of all beings now enjoy the beautiful, healthy, picket in Buddhist thought. Of the blissful body of a Yidam of law and archetype of enlightenment. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suha. And now we come to the fourth of four uh, love meditations where we bring the experience of the circumstantial into the path of love. May all circumstances or lots of all beings now have the safety, good fortune, and boon as a Buddha's real or imagined paradise per land or vanti. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suwa. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um. Da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Um da de de da de 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 suha. Now we switch gears from meditating on love to meditating on letting go, and now you get to see four ways that we are like this archetype. Uh, of enlightened activity. First, let's review the meaning of emptiness. As we relax into our exhalation, whatever we notice during our previous inhalation could feel as no graspable as a vast and devoid. Like the illusion of the infinite azure sky on a beautiful cloudless moon, which, although compelling to the eye, is not graspable to the hand. And now we're going in reverse. We're starting with the circumstance and bringing, bringing it into the path of letting go. How is it that as we inhale our circumstances could appear quite vivid, yet as we relax into our exhalation they could feel as not graspable as a real or imagined paradise, vati or vati of pure light? Our circumstance might not be a real or imagined paradise out of the imagination of Maxfeld Parish. But as we physically relax into the mantra, our circumstance could feel as non-graspable as a real or imagined paradise comprised only of light.
Um the oopsie, quick fix. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. And now we turn to the physical. How is it that as we inhale, all bodies can feel quite sensual? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as non graspable as a real or imagined archetype or a yidam of light. Um, so, the second way we are like Tata is that we might not look like this beautiful, green, real or imagined entity, but as we physically relax into the mantra, our bodies could feel as if they were as non-graspable as Tata's real or imagined body comprised only of light. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Om da de de da de 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 so wa. Om da de de da de 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 so wa. Om da de de da de 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 so wa. Om da de de da de 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 so ha. Om da de de da de 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 so wa. Om da de de da de 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 so wa. Om da de de da de 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 so wa. Om da de de da de 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 so ha. And now we bring our attention to the interpersonal. How is it that as we inhale, the interpersonal experience of communication could be quite resounding? Now, I'm going to do a quick edit here. Yet as we relax into our exhalation, it could feel as non graspable or real as a real or imagined mantra of light. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so wa. Um da de de da de 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 so ha. 
Um da de de da de 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 so wa um da de de da de 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 so wa um da de de da de 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 so wa um da de de da de 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 so ha. And last, we bring our experience of the mental into the path of letting go. So, if the third way we were like Tata is that our experience of communication can feel as non-graspable as mantra, the fourth way we were like Tata is that as we relax into our exhalation, our mind, our mind's perceptions of sights, sounds, sensations, flavors, sense, and the like, our mind's experience of emotion, intention, thought, memory, and imagination, could feel as not graspable as Tadas, a syllable of light. Oopsie. How is it that as we inhale we could perceive our mind's functions quite clearly? Yet as we relax into our exhalation, they could feel as non graspable as a real or imagined suitable tom of light. Um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so ha. Um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so ha. Um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so ha. Um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so wa um da de do da de do de so ha. As we breathe in, we play with the rhetorical question. How relax into the awareness of this? As we exhale, we will silently and mentally recite the six syllable version of the mantra. Um da de de um da de dum so 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 ha. Um da de dum so 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 ha. Um da de dum so 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 ha. Um da de dum so 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 ha. The yedam marked up in my own mind or inseparable. This is the innate ultimate form of the green heroine.
The head of my tribe and my own mind all lightly to. Hmm. The yet are marked up in my own mind, or like they are inseparable in their non graspable nature. This is the innate ultimate form of the green heroine. Appearances rise, uh, appearances arise as if they were the play of the wisdom mandala. This is the great indestructible protection. In other words, circumstances are seen, yet non-graspable. Sensations are felt, yet non-graspable. Communication is resounding, yet non-graspable. Our minds are lucid, yet non-graspable. So now we play with bliss and letting go, which is a wonderful antidote to craving and is known by many names, including... Tikle's drop. During the inhalation, we silently and mentally recite the. Uh, begins with a D. This is a special type of pronoun begins with the, the letter D. Distinguishing pronoun? And during the exhalation, we silently and mentally recite the hyphenated noun, emptiness. While we're at it, let us consider the statue of the two Buddhas making love. Their nudity reminds us of the vulnerability of mindfulness. Their representative translucence reminds us of the non-graspability we experience while physically relaxing during our exhalation. The product the, uh, their beauty reminds us of the love that is the natural fringe benefit of a healthy mindfulness and meditation practice. The stability with which he sits reminds us of centeredness. The abandon with which she sports reminds us of spontaneity.
Through the merit of this may I swiftly attain the enlightenment of great heroin. And may every single being reach her state as well. If you feel that I have earned it, you could type something in the chat in the chat window. You could give this live stream a thumbs up. You could share it with a friend, or you could even help support this channel on Patreon for about one buck a month. Or not. Either way, it is my intention to return in ten and a half hours to lead tomorrow's early morning meditation. Until then, may you and yours be happy and healthy. And if you are as geeky as me, this is the way. <laughs>